Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be doing something that has been requested uh, repeatedly by the same person. Ben, you are great. And all that good stuff. And anyways, it is Female Crimson, who I will call Scarlet for her female name, because it just makes sense. It has the same for red kind of color, shade or something. And also, it's a feminine version it's a feminine one, so I thought Scarlet for Female Crimson is a good gender bent name. So Scarlet, X Male Cat Folk Listener. And these are going to be the head cannons and traits. And maybe, just maybe, it is going to have also, what is it called? What is it called off the tip of my tongue? A scenario at the after the head cannons. We'll, we shall see. Now, first off, we're going to be using Crimson's pictures, but this is not what she looks like in, that Scarlet looks like in this. We're just using Crimson pictures so that we have something to have as pictures for and GIFs and stuff in the video. But she probably looks vastly different from the images in it and such. Now, let's get on to the video. Disclaimer, Crimson is not female or Scarlet in canon. This is just for fun and not to be taken seriously at all. Crimson is also not Yandere in canon. This is not supposed to be taken seriously at all. Simbin for fictional characters, Yandere's, as well as gender bend in them, is fine. Just do not be illegal or gross about it. You know who you are, you dirty, flaky biscuits. Yandere's are not ideal partners to have in real life. Also remember to separate fiction from reality and headcanon from canon. A thank you. Now let's do this. First, the headcanons. Scarlet is a woman who is in charge of her mafia, proven her father wrong. She is ruthless, but not the brightest woman out there. She loves money and wants to be a very wealthy and very powerful woman. She has unalived her husband, the father who, who was the father of her son, Moxie. She never remarried and she saw herself as a woman that does not need a man. She is a woman who also splurge, splurge shops and loves a good spa day. She ha So she took a few days off to take a vacation in the soft ring at their spas and scenery. She met a very handsome cat man, which was a cat folk demon man, That is, and that man is you. She has never felt this way about anyone before, not even her late husband. She wants you to be hers and hers alone. She is a very possessive and demanding Yandere. You are hers and no one else should be able to look at your handsome face or to be able to have you close to themselves. She would shoot a uh, pew pew the brains out of anyone who tried to take you away from her. You are her man and you will be a good little pet for her, won't you? She is very controlling of what you can and cannot do as a Yandere, but she does let herself lose control of the situation sometimes as well, but only with you. She does not let any other man take control of her in such a way, and you should consider yourself lucky for that. She was a prize to be won and cherished, so you better freaking cherish her. She would be the type of woman to want to try and have kids again and make sure they do not leave the mob like their older brother moxie did she is a bad mamma jamma woman that will fight for what she wants she deals with rivals mainly by pew pew in them execution style then she disposes of their bodies the same way she did with her husband and everyone else and if she does not pew pew them she ends up drowning them with tying a cinder box to their feet and having them sleep with the fishes and all that good stuff. Well, not good stuff, but you know what I mean. She would have a shrine for you and trophies of all her rivals she had unalived for you. She would want you to be a stay-at-home husband while she runs the show and the mafia, but when she does come home, she is so sweet and loving to you. She would gladly have as many babies as you would like and let you ruin her with your cat, folk, barb, uh, pickle. She adores you and actually treats you well compared to everyone else that she treats. 
but she is no damsel in distress. She may even make you a close-up bodyguard so that you can be with her forever and always. She would confess to you after she feel after she gets you to Greed City. Well, the Greed Ring. I'm just calling it Greed, Greed Ring. Yeah, Green Ring. Most likely, if you accept her love, she will be head over heels for you even more and will want to be marrying you as soon as possible. If you turn her down, well, Cap, Mr. Cow, Mr. Catman, you will be tied to her bed while she breaks you for turning her down. Who do you think you are? Do you think you can just turn your back on her and turn her down, walking away from her? Well, you have another name coming. Another no, no, no name. You have another thing coming. No one, especially you, turns down Scarlet. No last name. You will be hers. Mark her words. Anyways, now a little bit scenario of how you guys met. This is not official yet. It's just a little bit of a teaser. So, yeah, let's do this. Uh, sorry. Scarlet was walking down the street. She just was got out of the spa and she was feeling good about herself. And she was looking at the local market for something to pick up to bring back to the hotel room that she was staying at. Which was attached to the which was a building attached to the spa she was at. She bumps into someone and growls up at them as she falls down on her butt. Frickin' slaughtering residents, she thinks to herself until she looks up and her and she completely froze. Standing above her, offering his slightly clawed hand to her, was a cat folk demon. A uh a uh, native of the Slothring. He had hair color and pointy ears with a tail swishing back and forth of the same hair color he has. His eyes dilated slightly as he looks down into Scarlet's eyes. Are you okay? He asks. Scarlet feels her face go flush and her hands shake and her heart start to rise. She had no idea what to say or do. The confident woman that she was was stunned into silence. Are you okay, he asks, and she slowly takes his hand. I'm fine. Watch where you're going, why don't you? She says to him. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to, he says. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? He asks. He helped her, he helped her up. Scarlet looked at him and realized that he was very, very, very handsome and that she wanted to have him as hers and hers alone. So what's your name? Oh, my name's your name, last name. You you tell her, and she nods her head. Nice to meet you, your name. Why don't we go get something to drink together? She asks, starting to smooth the confidence back in. And he blush, and you blush, but nodded your head, and she leads you to a nearby pub. She was going to get to know this sweet cat man that is you. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. Michelle, remember to edit out the part that you messed up on. You know which part. And I hope that you all enjoyed this. If you would like to see more, comment below what you would like to see, and I will do my best to do it. Also, Q&A at the end uh, and on August 25th. So if you have any questions for me, ask them below and all that good stuff. Also, if there's anything you want to see in this mini series specifically, comment it below, and I will do my best to do it and all that good stuff. And yes, I think that's it. Now, I hope that you all enjoyed and Patreon outro. Patreon outro. Thank you, Gav, for being my first patron. You are wonderful, beautiful, stunning, gorgeous. Thank you, Gav. And that is it for now. I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you would like to see more, comment below what you would like to see. And I will do my best to do it. And stay sexy, all my sexy muffins. Bye-bye. Secret outro time, secret outro time, secret, 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 secret outro time, secret outro, secret outro, secret outro, a baseball bat. Welcome to the secret outro, and the secret outro question of the day is, if Crimson was Scarlet, would you smash? My answer is hell yes. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed, and stay sexy, all my sexy muffins. Bye-bye.